way. Everybody knows it. We are innovating. We have an innovative culture. You know it's an innovative culture because every week, every month, a new advance in space garners the headlines. What else was going on in the 60s? Everybody was dreaming about tomorrow. Everybody. That's what the World's Fair was all about. It wasn't about yesterday. It wasn't about today. It was about tomorrow. The kind of tomorrow that could only be brought into the present by the ingenuity of scientists and engineers. How do you cap off that year? Apollo 8. Photo of Earth rising over the lunar landscape. That photo, we all know it. Earthrise over the moon. There was Earth, seen not as the map maker would have you identify it. No, the countries were not color coded with boundaries. It was seen as nature intended it to be viewed. How does that affect culture? 1970, the Comprehensive Clean Air Act. Earth Day, March 1970. The Environmental Protection Agency was founded in 1970. Clean Water Act, 1971, 1972, Endangered Species Act. We're still at war in Vietnam. Yet we found the time to start thinking about Earth. That is space operating on our culture and you cannot even put a price on that. By the way, how much does NASA cost? It's a half a penny on a dollar. A half a penny. That buys the space station, the space shuttles, all the NASA centers, the rovers, the Hubble telescope, all the astronauts, all of that. And so I worry that decisions that Congress makes doesn't factor in the consequences of those decisions on tomorrow. Tomorrow's gone. Powerful agency on the dreams of a nation is currently underfunded to do what it needs to be doing. And that's making dreams come true. How much would you pay for the universe?